The Australian Grains Pest Innovation Program, or AGPIP, is a GRDC investment that aims to develop high-impact, sustainable and scientifically tested pest management solutions for the grains industry. Scientists are looking for new ways to control insects and pests in Australian grain crops. The focus of its current research is using biological control agents to reduce crop damage. Our goal is essentially to find new ways to control insect pests and improve the production of beneficial insects to solve issues with insecticide resistance in Australia. As part of this research, the team for the Pest and Environmental Adaptation Research Group at the University of Melbourne are using tiny microorganisms called endosymbionts. An endosymbiont is basically a tiny bacteria that lives inside insects and they are incredibly widespread in nature. So they're found in different things from butterflies to mosquitoes to moths and wasps. Basically every type of insect you can think of, these endosymbionts are found inside a lot of them. About 50% of all insects on Earth, pretty much. And what they do is they can have really, really wide-ranging effects on these insects in terms of the effects that they have on their reproduction and survival, and they can even interfere with the viruses that they spread. One thing that we're really interested in doing is enhancing the impact of beneficial insects. So beneficial insects are the good guys, they go out and they knock pests out. But we really want to make them better at doing their job, right? And for example, in parasitoid wasps, it's the female wasps that do the heavy lifting. They're the ones that go in and zap the aphids or your pest moths. But if, the, if we don't have a lot of females in uh, a wasp population, then there's not going to be as much pest control. So what we want to do is find endosymbiotic bacteria that can skew the sex ratios in these populations so that female wasps produce more daughters that are themselves going to go on and become better control agents. After harvesting insects from all over Australia, scientists use a technique called microinjection where they transfer these endosymbionts between insect species. Once the endosymbionts have been placed inside the insect, they are taken into a molecular lab where their DNA is screened. This allows scientists to see exactly what effects the new bacteria is having on the insect and how that insect then performs. Aphids will cause a lot of damage through just feeding on the plant and that can just reduce its growth. They can also spread viruses which can cause a change in colour of the leaf, it can turn it um, purple or yellow or other colours, and that can be a, a sign of virus transmission. You can also have caterpillars or other pests that will just eat away at the leaves, and all of these will basically reduce the yield of the crop. We are targeting the most important aphid pests in Australia, and this includes the green peach aphid, which attacks canola crops, uh, and the Russian wheat aphid and the oat aphid, which attack wheat and barley and oat crops in Australia. And we are, yeah, we're really focused on those three aphid species because they cause the most damage to crops in um, Australian agricultural landscapes. And they cause damage in two main ways. So they, they basically um, reproduce in really large numbers and cause direct feeding damage to the crops and they can also spread different viruses which also cause damage and both of those cause pretty massive yield losses in Australia and a lot of a lot of economic costs. What we're hoping to achieve is to develop strains of aphids that carry endosymbionts that can either stop the aphids from spreading viruses directly or have other effects on their reproduction that we can release a strain of aphids into the field and that endosymbiont will spread and then during a hot season the aphid population will crash and therefore they won't do as much damage to crops. So we're looking for ways to either reduce the aphid population sizes or make them less damaging to crops in Australia.
we're really starting at a very small scale. So our initial lab experiments, we're really starting at the scale of a small petri dish with just a leaf. And so we're taking our different aphid strains and we're comparing basic traits between the aphids that carry the endosymbiont and the aphids that don't carry the endosymbiont. So what we're doing is we're measuring some of these um, basic reproductive traits like the time they take to develop into the adult stage, the number of offspring they reproduce, and other effects on their lifespan and, and their behaviour. And then once we've got these basic parameters, then we'll progress to larger scale experiments where we want to see how the aphids that carry the endosymbionts spread across different plants and how the endosymbionts themselves spread between different aphids. We're really hopeful that endosymbionts can be a new way to control insect pest populations. It's a pretty blue sky approach at this stage. We don't really know what's going to work and what's not going to work. But I think there's a lot of potential there. Melbourne University is really proud to be working with Caesar Australia on this GRDC investment.